Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Hello guys and welcome to the Talladega Super Speedway for race number 10 of the Pepsi Hybrid Series. I'm Dan Hummel as always. I was supposed to have Brian James here in Austin Shaw, but I didn't pay him enough to be here. No, just scheduling and just a lot going on this week and so it's just me. You're stuck with me. Anyway, this is a double points race here at Talladega, so really no one's, even with six races left to the playoffs uh there's no one out of the playoff contention everyone is still technically in the playoffs so it should be an interesting race here john gilbert starting on the pole and carter joey starting outside of him and here is the rest of your starting lineup and we'll get you right to the green flag So as you do notice, this is a throwback version of this track. This is the 1997 Talladega track. As by the signage on the walls, you got a Die Hard 500 and a Winston 500 signs in the back straight away. The old Talladega logo. Anyway, we're doing 19 laps here. <laughs> if it's anything like Daytona, we should be in for a treat. Again, it's a double point race. Technically, no one's out. And you should see a lot of craziness here. 19, our Daytona 500 winner, Sam at Oskin. He is back starting in, I believe. 10th is 2, 4, 6, 8, 12th actually, my bad. Anyway, pace car pulls off. We're set to go green here from Talladega. Stretch. And race number 10 of the Pepsi Hybrid Series is green. I always forget where they start here. It's a lot farther than I thought. I've also forgot the start finish line. It's not in the tri -oval. We have TJ Hanley going to the inside early. They're three wide behind them. It's even start for that front row. They're jumbling up behind them. Ben Crouch looking to make it four wide right behind them. Anyway, it's three wide for the lead. Now trying to make it four wide. So John Gilbert's your leader and it's four wide behind him. Four by four behind him. Get some contact behind them. That's the 97 and the 15, Steve Morgan. Somehow they make it through that clean. There's contact behind them. There's a wreck. Ryan knocks the round. This is a big wreck behind them. Oh, boy. A lot of cars taken out of this one. Ethan Walker, Damian Blue blew up. And that's not the way you want to run a double points race. Derek Hamill is now your leader. 
the turn three. And it looks like Hamill will lead him back to the caution flag. With the Hunter Adkinger points leader right behind him. And there we go. And we will take you back to see what happened. So they are five wide coming out of the trial here. Just no room for error when you go that way. Five, I mean, it can definitely allow for it. There's a lot of people that just get swept up in this one. It's almost like it was two or three separate wrecks here. Trevor Collins, I got through that. I think I saw Brian James narrowly get, a, get through that. And then TJ Hanley blew up on the back stretch. Well, let's take this back and see what... Cause I didn't see this. Let's see what happened to TJ Handley. Oh, that was another wreck. Okay. An even bigger wreck. Oh my! Look at that. Lots of cars upside down. There's the 55 Anthony Lopez that went upside down. 48 of John Gilbert. We're actually going to ride on board. Let's see if we can at least get a better view of what happened. Wow. Only in an hour, right? So, I guess we had two wrecks for out this caution. A lot of cars out of this race early on, lap two. We'll take you to pit stops or the green flag. We'll be right back. So we're going green this time. It looks like the 10 of Ryan Kinghart blew up. That's your Montreal winner right there. And that's so unfortunate for him. Anyways, the pace car pulls off. We're set to go back green here at Talladega. So craziness in the first two laps. Maybe they'll settle it out here. Finally, as we are back green. Just a second. Now we're back green. Look at all these cars that are out. We have 29 cars left in this race. Oh, and I think I'm on pit road. It's Hunter Atkins is going to go for the lead. With help from Henry Williams behind him. Not too far behind them is Ben Crump. Nathan Faden in that 12 car. Here goes Henry Williams, the inside for the lead. Ben Crouch now goes to the inside. And he has help from Nathan Faden and Jeremy Diaz and Fortimar Ott. A bunch of others, that inside line really working here right now. Jump up, here comes Jeremy Diaz to the inside. He'll get shut down by Nathan Faden and Ben Crouch. Well, we made it through a lap, I guess. Nathan Faden now goes to the lead. Rotomarot's right behind him. Contact right there between the 12 and the 5. And they keep it clean. LW right now at the second. Casey Nineko behind him. Everyone wanting those double points for the lap lead. Who will lead the lap coming to the line? I believe that was LW right that led it. Yes, it was. Casey Naneko pushing him. Hunter Atkins in third. And there's Devin Blue behind him and Trevor Collins. Well, 
probably got like a 10 car breakaway here. 13 car breakaway right here. For the lead. The round turn four. And it's LW right that leads. And the leaders are not pitting. I thought they were pitting. So LW right leads seven up the second. Jeremy Diaz and the inside line working up right now. Here goes Devin Blue to the inside. You already had one blue in victory lane earlier this year. And Devin Blue will make it a twofer. Jeremy Diaz the inside are three wide for the lead. Frodomar Rots right behind him. Looks like Frodomar Rots throws the block on Nathan Faden. It's going to be Jeremy Diaz that leads this lap. Gets his two bonus points. So, got the field jumbling up. We're going to take you for a quick run through. First is Jeremy Diaz. Second is Nathan Faden. A battle for third and fourth. Right now is Throdomar Otts. Fourth, Trevor Collins. Fifth is now Hopkins. Sixth is now Derek Hamill. As we got leaders. A lot of slow cars on the high line. We're just going to take you back to the front. As Nathan Faden now leads, and he gets his two bonus points. Rotomar Otts right behind with Trevor Collins. Here goes Rotomar Otts for the lead. But he doesn't have any help behind him. Trevor Collins does. Making that inside lurk, he will get the leads. We're now four wide. Lead and the inside's gonna slow down a little bit. Got Rick up senior. Slowed them down a little bit. Now it's a three car breakaway for the lead as we come to nine laps to go. So you got a three car freight train and behind them I don't know, will this pack catch back up? The lap traffic kind of slowed them down a lot. Rotomar Otzi inside, and he's not going to get there. These are coming up on some more lap traffic. It's William Brockhart, Joey, Ethan, Walker. Quickly fly around them. This front three now has a three second breakaway. Gotta wonder, can this pack catch them? I don't know, that gap seems to be getting stronger and stronger every lap. So seven to go this time. Now Nathan Faden's going for a lead. Now, four second lead for this front three. Trevor Collins, he could definitely use a win right here, and especially in a double points race like this.
There goes Frodemar Otzi inside, and he can't get it done. And there's the gap between third and fourth. So this seems to be a four-car breakaway. Three wide for fourth. No one has any help. These guys are single file and a lot faster because they are single file. Rose Trevor Collins to the inside with no help though. And Frodemar Ott's now going for the lead. But again, he has no help. They're coming up on Hillary Sanchez right here. And slowed down Nathan Faden a lot. Now they're going to slow down. Now here comes Austin Shaw and Rodney Crouch. They're going to slow down the front two a lot. And this might be the chance for that second to catch up. The chance that the second group needed to catch up to this lead group. They are coming like a freight train right now. Here goes Trevor Collins to the inside. Again with no help. Frodemar Otz will lead, coming to four to go. And that gap to that second group is now seven seconds. And Ben Crouch leads that group. Nathan Faden going for the lead. He won back at Canadian Tire. He's looking to be the first repeat winner of season one. He has no help on the inside. He just has the shorter distance to drive. And now Trevor Collins going to go for a lead. It's three wide. This all one's going to slow down that 28 a lot. So now we got a two car battle for the lead. Three to go. Yeah, a lot of slingshots coming up now. <laughs> the second group is completely slowed down. Hillary Sanchez definitely slowed that second group down. My name is we got a two car breakaway coming to two to go. These aren't manufacturer alliances, this is just two guys just trying to pull away. So two to go and they could have come out on Brian James in the last race as winner Brick Hill Jr. This could be trouble for both these guys. They could find them. Frodemar Otz is going to go to the inside and go around. Nathan Faden stuck there, boxed in. But how far can Otz get without a draft? Not very far at all. Here comes the 12. He comes with a white flag. So, white flag is out. One more lap to go from Talladega. We got ourselves a battle for the win right here between the 22, Frodemar Otz, and the 12 of Nathan Faden. Nathan Faden trying to get win number two on the year. Got half a lap to go, and here comes the 12 to the inside. 
down the back stretch and he can't pull it off down in the turn three he will get the advantage and the preferred line this is going to be a drag race right to the finish Nathan Faden off turn four can the 22 get it get up to him again And Nathan Fane on the trial, but he's going to be the first repeat winner of the Pepsi Hybrid Series. Nathan Fane wins at Talladega. And what a race to the finish that was. So congratulations to Nathan Fane. And again, congratulations to Florida Marats too. He definitely pulled a great battle with that 12 unfortunately just could not pull the trigger off for Trevor Collins finished third Henry Williams finished fourth Hunter Atkins sixth who finished fifth Casey and killed and here is the rest of your start rest of your results and my next race is Charlotte another double points race so again none of us are out it's definitely interesting to have two double points races, but anyways, thank you guys for watching, and here are your results and points. We'll see you at Charlotte.